Hello everybody, um, how are you? We're going to do day three and as promised I'm going to take you down that winner's section and then we're going to go down that middle section of quilts. But I thought I'd just show you this one very quickly because Natalie you asked about um, the smaller miniature quilts so um, and I didn't do the stand quick enough so it's Julie, Julia, I'm sorry I can't pronounce that surname. Hagen, there we go. <laughs> um, and she was on, uh, there, well, there's the stand number there, Q1A19. And we did do a quick um, scan of all her miniature quilts the other day, but I didn't catch the stand name. So, Natalie, if you're trying to get hold of her, that's the lady's name. And uh, the gentleman's just moving out of the way. <laughs> but how cute are these? Oh, I'm really liking these. I'm loving the. Uh, the little landscape one there, that little Mediterranean one at the top is gorgeous. Morning Jenny. So um, so we're gonna whiz down these ones. I'm gonna take you um, to the, um, the middle section. Actually, we're gonna go down this side so we can do the winner's gallery. Um, I haven't done any of that section there either in the centre. So, but we've got another day. You're all getting extra lives, aren't you, this week because of this. <laughs> so we're gonna go down through here and we're going to find the winner's gallery this one side so if you're live with me please do say hello say hello to me and uh, let me know you're there what are you up to this lovely saturday morning did you all have a nice lie-in are you watching from bed morning louise morning linda jenny how's it going really well actually pleasantly surprised um we were worried obviously about coming obviously we were um this is these are the winner's galleries but um actually it's been lovely we've spoken to lots and lots of people which was fab um yeah it's been lovely hi carolyn hi natalie um there we go so this is the primary schools and group of young quilters winner and look at these they've made ha oh, how cute are these they've made all these beautiful little houses oh look at the little dog out the window he looks like a little corgi or something doesn't he so how cute is that and they've made like a um what's the word a quilt which looks you've got a little football field on there and all these lovely little trees and they've made a hole oh look at that isn't that pretty really really sweet what how nice is that uh, so who was the winner that was uh it's called patchville and it's uh atelier de Coutier Magpie? Mag Magique? Sorry. Can't. Oh, don't, don't be pronounce my French. There we go. Okay, so that was the uh, winner. Uh, hi, Carolyn. Hi, Sue. Hi, Carol. Oh, that's okay, lovely. My pleasure. Um, so this was the young quilter, young embroiderer, aged five to nine. Um, and this was won by Ella Rose Watson, who's seven, um, from Ireland. And it's called The World Crying Oh, bless her, isn't that sweet? Really, really lovely. Hi, Jill. Hi, Kate. Hi, Sandra. Um, so we're going to go down this side as well. Uh, so this is the Young Quilter winner for age 10 to 13. And this was from... Oh, these names. I don't know how you pronounce that name. I'm very sorry. Age 10 from Surbiton. And let me pull back so you can see that. And it's called Don't Cry For Me. So, yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Love the rainbow colours they've used on that. And then we've got uh, Complete Beginners. This is sponsored by Sewing Street. And isn't that lovely? That's really, wow, that's really amazing for a complete beginner. Hi, Tracy. Oh, lovely. Can I, come and say hello when you uh, get here. Hi, Hannah Law. Um, this was, um, it was a super bloom pattern by Adita Sitar. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> and that was by Ola McDonnell in Swindon. And she's a complete beginner, which is absolutely amazing. Look at that beautiful long arming that she's done. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. My I had a really bad allergy reaction yesterday. Um, and uh, was really bad in the hotel last night. So um, my silly nose and everything is... Um, <laughs> playing up something proper today so this is the modern quilts winner um and this was from by abigail sheridan de graf um from Shipst shipston on stour in the uk it's called little snippets and there we go i love that i love the clean lines of it i love that monochrome look i love how the quilting is really prominent so like because there's very little decoration look how beautiful that quilting looks and 
Look how tiny that piecing is there. I mean, what's that, eighth of an inch piecing? And they're all so regular. Look at that in the center. Yeah, it's too early for me as well, Hannah Law. It really is. <laughs> Loving that. I think that's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Um, who's this one? This is traditional quilts. This is the winner. And it almost looks like it's got a light on it. It's absolutely amazing. Can you see how they've used the gradation in the fabrics to like make it almost look like it's lit? Stunning. I'm going to get a bit close. And this was by, this is, um, this is by, oh, Japanese name. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that for you ladies. It's called Flower News. And look, this is all needle turned and look how precise that is. All those tiny little French knots. There we go. Look at that. That's look at the tiny little butterflies. How they fussy cut on those butterflies. But you can see how little they are. There's my thumb there, so you can see how little they are. And you pull out and you get that amazing, amazing quilt. Stunning, isn't it? absolutely beautiful I wouldn't want to put that on a bed I'd pop that on the wall <laughs> get the full effect of it and then when we come down this side this is the last of the winners this was the art quilt and I love that I think that's amazing I'm gonna stand back so you get the full effect like that and then when we come in you can see more detail so they've matched it quilted the whole thing just with really simple lines and then they've done this beautiful sort of serendipitous line all the way through. Uh, how warm is it in the NEC? They have got the aircon on but I've been in t-shirt and jeans and been absolutely fine. I haven't been too warm, um, I haven't been cold so Leslie so you should be fine with that. I love this, I love the gradation of colour in this one. I love these fabrics they've used. Can you see the detail in the fabric? It would need a really big wall. I would. I'd need a mansion, wouldn't I, rather than my little house. So, um, morning, Karen. Morning, Barbara. Um, who else have we got? So this was by, um, this winner was Lee Higgins from Eccles in UK. And it's called Candy, Candence 7. Cadence, sorry. Cadence 7. Yeah, I love the fabric too, Jen. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really, really gorgeous. Liking that. Um, oh, okay, so the winner of the Contemporary Quilts is located in its original position. So, um, due to its scale, it wasn't possible to be moved. So, ooh, we'll need to go and find that one then, don't we? We'll have to go and find that one in a minute. So, what I thought I'd do is take you down the centre section, because we did the left and the right, but we didn't do any of the centre sections. So, um, is there anything in particular you want to see? Um, are there any stands you want me to show you tomorrow? Is there anything you want me to go through? Um, Anybody else not dressed yet? I am dressed, just about. <laughs> so, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down through this centre section. So, um, oh, I don't think we did these ones, actually. Did we do this one? I don't think we did this one. This is beautiful. This caught my eye. Look at that. Oh, I love how they've done that. I love how the gradation of colour. I think that's beautiful. I like how they've got that darker blue right in the centre and they've gradiated I doubt, both sides with the blues into the yellows and the reds. Looks like it might be Liberty Tana Lawns they've used. Um, so this is uh, called Joseph's Coat Quilt and it's, again, I'm not going to pronounce those. Um, hi Christine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I, these are all Tana Lawns and it's done like an orange peel. Let me just gently slow go that. You're still in bed as well, Jacqueline. Good girl. I wish I was. And they've done it onto linen. This is a linen background and they've appliqued it all on with an orange peel. And then you get that beautiful. And actually, I like how they've quilted it as well. Can you see they've quilted it with just a little circle in the centre there? There are lots of one o'clocks. I've got so many ideas. We haven't done an orange peel yet, actually. Oh, I'm just making sure there's no bench behind me. I was walking backwards. <laughs> But yeah, really loving that one. So, a couple down here. Bridges to Pride. That's quite lovely. Like that. Like the idea behind that, how they've added in photos that they've printed on. 
So we do like, um, so you, we've done some photo printing. I think Sarah did a whole one o'clock on photo printing. It's really beautiful. I like that a lot. Like, so, um, like the um, theme behind that. Um, so yeah, we did, um, we've done some photo printing, but you can buy um, the June Taylor Colourfast sheets. I've got those on Hachanda actually on Tuesday when I'm there. I'm on there on at one in 11 and 1. Not the Hachanda. Oh, the craft store. I keep saying Hachanda. Um, I like the quilting on this one. Actually, this has caught my eye. I like how they've really heavily quilted sections of it and then put these circles in with the pebbles in there. You see how they've divided that up. And it's really, really made that pop. Um, this one's by Helen Brookham and Sandy Chandler. Called My Secret Steps. Oh, we might have done an orange peel in the isolation. You're right, Jen. I can't remember. We've done so many one o'clocks now, haven't we? And then back down to that one. Oh, we did do this. We did that one last, uh, was it yesterday or day before? We did do these little ones. So, should we go down this section? I don't think we've done any of these. Um, oh, what's that? Is that like semaphore? What does the, what's this one mean? This is called Mar oh, Maritime Signal Flags. Um, and this is by Maureen Lazenby. Um, oh, that's very clever, isn't it? Oh, they've uh, they've used their mach uh, machine by looks of it to do the embroidery for the the lay names and everything. And uh, ah, that's lovely. That's cute. Those sewing machines, isn't it? And you've got little tomato pin cushions there and scissors. Your irons and your threads and your bobbits and these beautiful, beautiful little blocks in the centre. Nice colour palette as well. That one really, really pretty, isn't it? There we go. Um, what's that one, Natalie? Oh, you can get dressed. It's fine. Don't get dressed. It's Saturday. Why, not? Why would you bother? There you go. That's who that one's by. Connie Kuplan and Shauna Large. Large. Um, we've got a second prize winner here, uh, which is really lovely. This is a friendship quilt. Did we do these? Did we do the friendship quilt the other day? We did. We must have done these because um, we talked about doing a friendship quilt, didn't we? So we must have done those. Let me let me see what else we haven't done. That's really unusual. It's a wall hanging. It's very, very long. Look, it goes right to the top. Like that. There we go. And this is by, it's called Memory of a Walk by Catherine Rabson Stark. And it looks, I think it's like, oh, I like the fact that she's written to the fabric. Look, she's like journaled into the fabric. And is it, it almost looks like leather. I don't think it is. But the fabric's been distressed or something, and it looks like it's, but it's sort of free motion. You know how we've done that, um, we did curving where you just cut in at any angle and stuff. She's kind of done that by the looks of it. Um, okay, what have we done? The, I don't think we've done these. Sorry. <laughs> it would suit a staircase, it would. Hi, Petals in Patterns. Lovely, lovely. I'm sure that's not your real name, but hello. <laughs> uh, there we go. So this is um, by Nicholas Ball and Trudy Wood. So Nicholas Ball um, is in Cardiff, so he's really close to us. Um, he's Quilts in the Attic. Uh, and this is a two-person quilt. Uh, it's called How to Age a Tree. That's really clever, isn't it? <gasps> it looks even... Do you know what? It actually looks better on the screen almost. Not that it does look amazing in real life, but you can really see it. When I'm looking at it on the camera, you can really see it is a hole i like that tip though when um when i'm trying to design quilts or um design a block take a photo of it because you look at it as a hole on your screen um love that look it's got a bear right in the front and i do love a bear hi taryn hi anne hi lady oh you're all up nice and early with me which is very nice there we go sorry sorry about the sniffing it's my silly silly nose my silly allergies I don't know what I ate last night but um yeah oh I read about this one last night on UK quilters actually um this was the lady um she so she got a local graffiti artist to spray paint her fabric and then she was poorly and she couldn't finish quilting it so the graffiti artist actually came and did some of the quilting on his so it was the first time he'd ever ever free motioned and he went for it so it's interesting um, let's go down this one. Little pots. That's pretty. And then, oh, I like that as well. That's unusual. Lots and lots of photos. It's called Optimistic Photo Project. 
and it's by Suzanne Pass and Paul, Paula Rafferty again from Ireland and it looks like they've printed onto lots and lots of photos there we go like that and then put them all together and done a shadow quilt can you see how it's a it's a shadow quilt like we've done we've done that a few times in one o'clock tutorials haven't we um, oh okay I've hung quilts. It's surprising how hard some of them are. Yeah, the more heavily quilt, the more you thread you put into stuff, the harder it becomes, um, and it com becomes quite stiff. Um, wow, that's very clever. Looks really 3D. Look, you, I don't know if you can see, but they've kind of folded the fabric and then quilted into it to create the picture, and used bits of knit and all sorts in there. A little bit of like fur and all in there. It looks like they've painted into the fabric on that one. Yeah, Nicholas, Nicholas has done lots of, um, there you go, there's the details for that one. Nicholas has done um, lots of, um, what's the word, like Zoom classes. I don't know if he's still doing them, but over the lockdown he's done lots of um, classes. He's written an amazing book as well. Oh, that's clever. So the whole picture has been done with the quilt in. There we go. Quite like that as well. So I'm going to have to do this a little bit quicker because, again, we, uh, I need to get back to the stand in a moment. So I'll kind of have a quick whiz down here for you. But if there's anything you really, really like and you want maybe photos of and you want more details of, um, let me know, OK? So. Ooh. Is that a, who's that? Who's the footballer? Is that a very young, young Ryan Giggs, maybe? I don't know, playing for Man United, and my daddy would have known. Uh, oh, it is Giggsy. Oh, see, get me with my football knowledge. <laughs> Not that I watch football at all. Oh, my husband would be quite proud of that. <laughs> hmm. There we go. And then we'll have a little look down this one. Quite like that. That's quite nice. I like the combination of colours in that. That pop of orange with the blue. That's called Covid blue. Oh, have we seen these ones? Ladies, tell me if we've seen these ones. That's called Unsquare. Such a good way to get a look at the quilts. So I'm glad to, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad to, this has given you a little bit of an insight with me prattling on. <laughs> Moment of solitude. It's quite beautiful. I like all the curves in that one. So we're going to go down this way. Ooh. Oh, it's Adam and Eve. So I was trying to work out what it was, but it's Adam and Eve, isn't it? With the, in the Garden of Eden, with the serpent. So again, they've like padded it out and heavily quilted it in sections. I don't know if I do that. Can you see how much that's sort of sticking out from the quilt? You can see how much dimension that's got. That's quite beautiful as well. So that's like whole cloth quilt and there's, there's very little piecing or anything in that. And they've used just all their threads and the machine to just stitch in and create the picture, which kind of comes out. Spoiling for those who stay at home. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Much appreciated. I will. I will go and sell some stuff. It's been lovely, actually. We've been we've been very lucky. It's been a it's been a lovely show, actually. We were very um, worried, obviously, about coming along. We weren't sure how it was going to be. I'm loving that. Really unusual. Uh, oh, I saw one of John's uh, John's ones uh, last night, actually. Saw them. I don't know if you can see. I think they're suspended. It's little pieces of map, maybe, all suspended inside a little reverse applique square. That's really unusual. That's by Pippa Wardman. Uh, it's called Trapped. Like that. That's a really, really different technique. Look at these. These are stunning. They're almost they're like art pieces, aren't they? Oh wow! How's that been done? Is that printed on? Oh, I don't touch it. It's all floating in the breeze. It's so, so, uh, so fine. I will have try and have a closer look at that when there's not a br breeze coming on. And then these are little group quilts. These were well, not little at all. These are group qu quilts, and they're a single quilt made by more than two makers. And uh, we've got these down here. So that's called Here Comes the Sun, and that was made by. Lewis Blackburn and Arthur and Martha in Birchvale. 
really textured, lots and lots of different techniques on that one. We've got a housebound. Oh, this is unusual. This is uh, it's an upcycled group entry from Salisbury. It's called A Cup of Me. And it looks like it's lots of different blocks that have all been put together by different people. Which is a really nice idea. Just give you a quick squiz round of that. Is there a dashwood stand you can show us? I will find out for you, Louise. And if there is, I will let you know. Um, there are some people here doing um, dashwood fabrics, but I don't know if dashwood themselves have got a stand this year. Um, what I'll do is I'll just go down this side. So you can see these ones. I'm really quite, now I didn't think this would be my cup of tea, these sorts of quilts where they're whole cloths and you just work into them because I am I like the piecing element, but I'm really liking some of these. I'm loving the texture, so this is like, so Sarah did, um, oh, what's it called? Like the chenille texture where you cut through layers and fuzz it all up. That's really cool. So that's from Catherine Hollingsworth in London. It's called Raw. And then we'll go down this last little bit here. There is a lot more over there, <laughs> um, which I'll just walk around that way quickly for you. So you can have a little squiz at these. Quite like that black and white one. That's all about critical care for um, COVID. So this is made by a critical t care team in Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. Now my sister's a critical care um, nurse. She's a sister at the Heath um, in ICU and uh, she started off in Cheltenham so she did the first lockdown in Cheltenham in ICU there and then uh, she moved, changed jobs and came up to the Heath Hospital in Cardiff and uh, did the second wave there, bless her. So she's seen, she's seen a lot of it, bless her, lots and lots and I'm very, very proud of her. That's very cool as well. Lots of like, looks like almost like old quilts all put together. Lots of different blocks and things just posh, pop together. So, yeah, lovely. Right, okay, I'm going to try and sort of like go up through this bit. Oh, I don't think we've, right, I'll go up through this section, centre section because I don't think we've done that. There's so much I haven't shown you ladies and gents, so much. Um, Chenille, yes, thank you. I knew I thought that was the right term. I, my brain's not working today, it's really not. But I'm just going to take you up through this bit and then I'm going to head back to the stand because uh, I need to go and give Sarah a hand. Well, that's beautiful. It's really traditional looking, but very Art Deco y looking, isn't it? And then back down this way. I don't know if you, I don't know if we saw those ones. But I will try and do some more tomorrow for you as well. I will have a look for a dashwood stand as well, if there's anything else anybody wants to see. Um, oh, you're thank that's okay, Barbara. That's, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening to me prattle on. I like that. I like how they've cut through. Can you see all the, those lines there? That's all cut through so you can see. So, so yeah, so we were gonna, we'll go up through this way. I don't think we've done through this way before. Oh, hang on, let me change hands because my hand's starting to cramp a bit. <laughs> I should have bought Drew's gimbal, shouldn't I? The little uh, GoPro-y thing. It's got a lovely lady there called Dots and Stripes. She's got some nice bits on there. We've got Southampton Beach store. So if you want some sparkly bits, there's lots and lots of sparkly bits on there, which is lovely. Um, let's go through this way, get back to the stand this way. Sewing sanctuary on the end there. And all oh, that piece of fabric is still there on Rosenberg's. I might have to have that before the end of the weekend. <laughs> um, we've got wonderful speciality threads. Um, let's just, I'm going to nip through this one. Just so you can have a little little look. We've got there's Andy again over there. Uh, so different over here where they do um, sewing patterns. And we've got um, you've got the Bose Museum stand there, which is North Country quilts, and you've got sew machines here. And oh, there's a bit of spa. I snip through here because I've just seen something very sparkly. <laughs> What's this over here? <laughs> um, so this is fine art textiles. They're sparkly, that was, oh, they're all tin cans. <laughs> it's found textiles. Oh, look, it's all like cans. It's all beer cans and everything that they've punched 
and then crochet together. Uh, Lewis and Irene, I will try and find Lewis and Irene for you. So Lewis and Irene, I'll go that way actually. Lewis and Irene have got a, um, a stand, definitely. They're right by the gin and fizz stuff, uh, gin and fizz area. Um, but I don't know if they're selling fabrics. I think it's just the reps and they're showing you the new, um, new ranges and stuff. So we've got uh, monkey buttons here. I do love monkey buttons. I've had a few of their patterns in the past. Uh, Emily Cross Ceramics. Oh, look at these yarn bowls. Oh, I that one. oh wow. <laughs> Hi. Hi, this is Emily Cross Ceramics. Look at these beautiful yarn bowls. Oh, I like that one. Oh, oh look at this. Yeah, uh, look at that, that one there with the dragonflies on it. That's beautiful. So she's on stand G50. Um, oh, lovely little magnetic pin dishes. Those are cute, aren't they? And then little magnetic needle keepers. How lovely are those? Really, really nice. We've also got seam guides as well for putting on your sewing machine to help keep you a nice even. Ah, nice. Oh, that's a, oh, is that what the little square ones are for? Yeah. That's what the little square ah, ones are for. Ah, fabulous. Lovely. Ah, how cute is that? And then if you're like me and tend to lose track of which line you're on, you can't with one of these. No, that's a really cute idea. I like that. Thank you. There we go. So come and see Emily if you're uh, coming up today. Uh, I've got Helen Steel. Oh, that's a beautiful bright stand. Look how beautiful that quilt is in the background. So um, got Lily Fabrics on the end here. Um, I do tend to buy fabrics from them as well. Hello. Hi, how are you? Yeah, really well, thank you. Yeah, just doing a quick live with everybody. <laughs> so uh, yeah, come and check them out. They are on G58. Pin flare on the end. Oh, haven't been down this way, so let's go down this way. We've got White Cottage Country Crafts. Really, oh, there's some yummy bits there. Really nice yummy bits there, and I'm really, really. And then we've got Quilted Bear on the end for like your haberdashery stuff and everything. Purple stitches are just behind them. Um, nearly there. Sorry, this is a really long one today, and I'm going to be in trouble with Sarah, aren't I? Because I'm uh, taking too long. Uh, you've got Living with Loveliness there, so you've got lots of different bits and pieces. <laughs> Hi! Here we go, they are on J54. Lots of bits of haberdashery, all sorts there, which is lovely. Uh, and then Sherwood Fabric Group on the end here. Um, back to Higgs and Higgs, where I will be spending some money. I will. It's, it's a no-brainer. You know, you know I'm going to have to come in and have a little look at some of these because I just love this stuff. Oh, look at these. Oh, they've got all sorts of yummy things. Really, really beautiful. Ready? Really beautiful. So, um, right, ladies. Um, oh, there we go. Hi. <laughs> um, could we see more of the art textiles if you have time, please? Absolutely, Jacqueline. I will try and do that for you um, either later on, if it gets quiet, because it get, it's been getting quiet about four o'clock-ish. Um, I'm not sure we needed to be open till six, to be honest. But um, it has been getting quiet about four, half four-ish. So most of the like crowds and people are trying to beat the traffic. So um, don't spend all your profit before you leave. Ooh. Well, might do. <laughs> but I will, um, I'll try and get back round if I get chance later on and do some of the art bits. Um, you want one of those bowls? I know, Jen, they're beautiful, aren't they? I'm sure she does online, actually, Emily Cross. You have to have a little look. Um, but I will give you a shout later. Thank you for joining me again. Um, so you can see there's the gin and fizz bar and Lewis and Irene. Oh, hang on. Let me flip over a minute. Ah, come on. There we go. There's the gin and fizz bar. Oh, no. Hang on. Phone's playing up. And then the Lewis and Irene stand is in the back. So I don't think they're selling the fabrics though. We've got a little bit with us, um, but there are other stands that have got more and they will know who's selling all the new stuff and all. So you can always pop in there. Um, but yeah, I will, um, I will see you really soon. Oh yeah, I'll see you later. Um, I'll have to show you around um, Dawn's stand as well. She's got some stunning things. I'll just hang on, let me flip back round again, just a second before we go. And you can see, dawn's stand there but i will do that in more detail later on or tomorrow so um i'm back at the stand now so i best go because i will be in much trouble with sarah jane <laughs> so bye everyone <laughs>